Hello and welcome to Call of the Sea, a puzzle adventure created by Out of the Blue. It's their first game, and it's a apparently it's a puzzle game like a little bit like a Witness, um, the Sojourn, stuff like that. But it's set in the 1930s on an island. Basically, you're playing as this woman. Uh, which I forgot the name of currently. I'm bad with names in general, so don't mind me. Um, it's set in the 1930s and she's basically going on an adventure to search for her husband's expedition. Lost expedition, really. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious to tackle my brain a little bit after um recent games i've played on the channel and um as well as outside the channel uh, and it's been due to work some rough some rough months and after some holidays my brain is, has settled uh, quite a down a little bit so yeah let's hope even yeah, if we're tired from a long day today of work, we're gonna tackle our brain. So, currently, I've messed around a little bit with the settings. Currently, the graphics options aren't yet working uh, correctly. It came out on the 8th of December. And, um, yeah, still new. Still, uh, as far as I can tell, from the game options only. You kink some bugs here and there, but nothing too crazy, I think. So yeah, we're after to do. Let's listen to the call of the sea. That's a loading screen. That's that it's it's quite some awesome artwork really. There's no sound currently because it's loading, but Oh. No, oh, it looks like some Cthulhu. Nora. Okay, Nora. Nora was the woman's name. What are those voices? Sounds like Cthulhu. Prologue. A family heirloom. Oh, we're starting underwater. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the sun. Okay, we can move. We're swimming. Okay, we have unlimited breath. It seems. Oh, we can speed up. Okay. This is... It is a slow game. So, it's not something where you go and go through fast. It's a puzzle game. So, where am, I? Where, where am I? I don't know. There were options, by the way, in the options settings, there was options for people who are... Um, who have bad hearing and stuff. It will, like, as you can see, as you saw before, between brackets in, like, another color. That there was a, like, uh, weird talking thing. Yeah, so that's for people who don't hear well. They read sounds. I think that's I think that's how it goes. I'm not too sure. It's I'm not even thank God for that one, but I'm hoping this will help people. It will help people that watch this content. It sucks. Again, it sucks. It sucks. Okay, so we have two doors here. We might want to remember that. There are two doors. Two doors. A clock. What is the time on here? Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. oh dear lord. It's upside down as well. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. It's between a quarter and ten to four? No. No, no, no. Sorry, the big one is there. So it's, um, sorry, it's... 20 
past nine? Twenty past nine. Yeah, twenty past nine. Yeah, twenty past nine. Okay, two doors, twenty past nine. Okay, remember that because <laughs> we're not gonna put in a clock. That's a chessboard with only one pawn moved, so that's probably nothing so far. We might have to get back to that, but so far nothing. Wait. Just because it's my own my own mind, which pawn is that got moved? Because <laughs> Wait, can you? I oh, know. That's just like a light source. Is if white is on that side, it is fifth from the left, fourth from the right. Yeah, okay, fair enough. 20 past nine, two doors. Okay, couldn't interact with the doors. I tried, by the way, clicked. Might not hear it, but yeah. Okay, you're climbing these stairs again, but why? Are they? Four picture frames from left to right. It is rectangle gold, rectangle, um, what would we call it? Gold lines, brown, and then white. I'm remembering just in case. Do you have to die? Is that gloves you have on, or is that just like sunspots on your arm? Is it sunspots they're called? Like those... Hmm. Is, you, is that... That's your disease, okay. Seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever. Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for telling me. All right. Time to gather my things. Uh. Oh. Okay. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. Okay, so Harry is her husband and he's probably also missing. What does it say play? You pre your prepaid number 1035. Your name is Nora Everhart. Uh the SS Carmel. We're arriving at Tahiti. On November the 1st in 1934. Okay, and we're coming from San Francisco. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. Oh, okay. That was a text that... Okay. Okay. But that's the same thing. Okay, I picked up. I was like, oh, is it stuck? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. You can't get always what you want. Aunt. Huh? How, how did you pronounce that? What? Yes, that's correct. Sorry. No French, because... Uh, where I come from, we have lots of languages in French. This pronunciation was just throwing me off a little bit. But it was good. The amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Art teacher. Huh? Okay. Okay. So sometimes it just takes a little bit, apparently. Uh, log. Uh, wait. Here's things from my journey. 506 Everhart, Nora remembers this. 
There is something. Is it this? Mm. Oh, wait. Okay, so July 6th, 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in the Postal Service. July 14th, 1934. Last night I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist-shrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. Uh, two months later, on September 16th, also 1934, of course. I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night, still no news from Harry. And it's been three months already. Okay, so. He disappeared in June. We're now September. Three months, and damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing and I can barely walk for a couple of minutes without getting exhausted. Wait. The other disease, I thought the, the things on your arms were your were the disease, basically, from the family. But it, it basically, it also, it pictures also on your breath. Okay. Uh, sounds like Corona. Almost. <laughs> the crown, sorry. You can't say the other word apparently on YouTube. October 10th, 1934, and then... An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday, postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Ooh. Also a month later. Find him. 74 nautical miles east of Otaheiti. Otaheiti. Don't know how to pronounce that. Hopefully I'm not butchering it. After leaving, leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaiti was just the ancient name of Tahiti. Oh, there we go. The same place that the package came from, what does it all this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up, even though I still feel hoozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. Four days later, on October 14th. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the medicine building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Calm. Tahiti, again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19, 1934. First, I'll sail to Tahiti. On a one on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. So it isn't going to be easy. Or cheap e cheap either. Either. Another four days later, on October 33rd, I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. Um, they got stamps, so already saw the medicine lines. November 1st, where we are now, I finally arrived in Tahiti, finding information about Harry's expedition. It's turning out to be a tough road to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Papiti, asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place 74 miles east of Tahiti, some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they... I think the place is cursed. I'm with an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. Hot Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, 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 it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. 
Save your money, Miss Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. Okay, I think that's it. There we go. Oh, that's pause. That's a pause. Uh, this music. on this trip yeah what were you thinking when you bring dresses to a, to an expedition hmm. I think I've overpacked you think I mean okay oh, my. I have the worst memory I oh the combination again. Thank well goodness, I always bring my journal with me to write things down that's probably the house oh No? Was not was it not six oh five? Oh five or six. <laughs> well Well, I wasn't too far. Sorry, that was my brain. Alright, now it's open. That wasn't too hard. Okay, gloves. I'm gonna take that first because eh. I better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Well after spending so much time reading this book. I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. You think so? Okay. A letter. I a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. One package. 10th September 1934. Delivered. Okay, so it's a package. It just says one package. Okay. Okay, so I think that this is a package. So... Okay, I'll take it. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. I'll take it. Oh, and that's where the key probably ends up. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. That's log, I guess. Uh, oh, it gives. Oh, it, it it now. Oh, that's why it's written like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, island dream drawing. Oh, it filled it in for us. Oh, that's nice. Uh, okay. Notes. A brass key. Okay. Nora, remember this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Log. Where are the other stuff then? You probably don't have. Oh, I always. I always. Yeah. Where's that? Okay. I'm guessing we can order this. Okay. Let's get to the island. Let's look for our husband Harry. Husband Harry. Husband Harry. Out of the blue. Love though that you have the the the. Eye of Horus type deal with the king and then out of the blue. That's nice. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I think the other ones were the publishers of this game. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. This is a weird way to Fair enough. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Hudson. Okay, let's try to remember that. Oh wow, seventy-four miles east of Tahiti. Wow, look at this. Does this look like an island? That's. Death. There's stuff there. Look at those things. Okay. So it's an island with no name. 
impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed of? Uh, probably yes. This, this can't be a coincidence. Oh my god, the music in behind this. It's like you're uh, like you're entering like something like Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Welcome to the call of the sea. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's like a, literally a shape of a key. Is that actually engraved there or is it just like shadows? Like, hmm. Love the rainbow. So cool. My god. This is a breathtaking island. Well. I don't know. We're gonna crash. There's something there already. <laughs> Good lord, this is cool. Okay, Harry, I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Hey, wow, look at this. Holy schnackies. Okay, we need probably need the seashell. Right. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea. Mm. Okay, so no, it's just a uh, shell. Okay, we're slow. Was a thing to run, but the, apparently the shift doesn't work currently. Like Maybe we don't are able not to run yet so far. What's that? There is stuff there. Something over there. Let's see here. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Oh! Okay, okay, I understand why you couldn't like um sprint before because you still have your disease. And even walking for a few minutes. Okay. So now I can sprint? Huh. So this island is already healing you then. You feel good. Okay. An offering of mother of pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. Okay, so there's one which is orange. That's either one big one or two blue ones. So we have two orange. Three blue ones. Okay, that's come that's Probably gonna go in handy. Uh, I'm already probably jumping the gun here, but that's something to do with a campfire, but I can't reach that one yet. So, guessing let's find uh, the. Something's been dragged here. And they cut down how many trees? One, two, three, four, five, six trees. So, wow. What a camp. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Worn down. This machete oh. is worn down. The blade is dull. This machete is completely No, worn down. I wanna do this. I wanna read. I only understand two words. Ill and not. Island and death. Oh, you don't understand the rest? Okay. A recon colier as a mo, nous avons profané cette île pour n'y trouver que la mort. N'allez pas plus loin. Uh, we found this island. Well, we wished we didn't find this. Uh, or, yeah, basically, the only thing they found on this island was death. Um, don't go too far. And this basically uh, says to those who uh, read these words, uh, all we found here was death. Don't go too far, basically. Always do that. I need to stop pressing escape for that. Normally when you press escape, you like go out of the things here, just like go back. Yeah, basically. Basically. All there is to it is death. Ooh, that's a cross. That's like a scabbard, right? Is this called a scabbard in English? I think so, like uh, the thing where you put it in the sword. Yeah, scabbard. Or probably that machete. <laughs> oh, 
That's a boat. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe, beautifully crafted. Ooh. Okay. Flute. That's a vivo. A flute that's a vivo. Oh, with her nose. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. So can't go there. That's a little side camp we can do. Um, do I go there? Do I go there? For, I'll go inside the cave first or whatever this is. What is this? Anything here? Hmm. Let's figure this out. If, if there's actually French stuff in here, that's going to be fun. I can try and translate as much as I can. Oh, we can't go here yet. Yes. How? Oh. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Okay, that's good to have. Oh, so yeah, she does sea waves, like waves, and then these things. Did I? Oh, yeah, she does things. Okay, cool. I'll try to go through my log, but not often, and read up on some stuff. So, it's currently November 6th, and uh, Nora has arrived on the mysterious island 74 miles east of Tahiti. The fisherman will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you. So we have three days. Is this Zelda? Also, is there anything, any other pattern that probably springs to mind? But we have to know that we went this way first. We can sprint. We can sprint. We can sprint. It's probably a lot faster than just doing things. Okay, so we have to go to the middle. It's the only place I can think of that we can do. I'm going this way to check things out. That's a grave. To be telling a story. Okay, Ooh, is it a story from which side? So what is the story here that there that six people, no, eight people right on the island? Is that it or uh, with a peak? Hmm. Oh. So we had three blue to orange. Three orange, four blue. I'm guessing I'm gonna keep trying, keep track of my in my mind. Hmm. It's gonna be. A bone fish hook. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Something with two people and barriers, a monster in this, a monster in this under the sea, and four people trapped it. Another two. That's number two. Okay. Yes, that's something like that. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, that's just that. Can we bring this up? No. Okay. What a lovely flower offering. Oh, are we going to have to remember this? <laughs> Looks like the same as there, but yeah, so far. I think we don't have puzzles yet. Oh. I think we're just just exploring the that's three let me that requires the key so what does this tell uh they made offerings i guess to that sea monster or they're lowering someone down for the sea monster hmm three people went Upwards, four people somewhere alone, and that. Mm, this is really tough to figure out.
Uh, are those spears? Hmm. Strange. It's difficult to figure out. Carving tool. Carving tool, eh? This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. Yeah, but who's CW? Okay. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Oh, so it, it does a check if we if you've done it. Okay. That's strange. Police don't use doors, much as mechanisms for the door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it. Nor are there. This is no ordinary island. Uh... Okay, so where we had the flowers, there is something underneath the flower on the floor. And that's what we need. Can we pick it up? No. Okay. Just gonna. The Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Oh yeah. Okay. Something's missing here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go back. I think that's right here. I think we can now here. Was that there before? It's hidden here. I just take it. Was that hidden there before? I didn't. I don't think I noticed it. I think you had to actually progress before it became visible. But we'll see. Let's open the door. That's one bag. That's two bags. It worked. Okay, that was an easy entrance. The first time I trespass a private property, my childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Okay, um, is it technically trespassing? We did open the door normally. There is a camp here. So, ooh, are those just bags or body bags? Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Okay, nothing there. Picture. To ever the Everhard expedition. Harry, you were here. Yes, we were. You were here, and I found you. Damn it! Where are you now? Where that was on June twenty fourth. Wow. You and all your crew go. Okay, read. Yeah, it's the ship. That's the ship we came on. We're six people. Fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, weapons, and explosives. Supplies for three weeks. Oh boy. Do we have to check the journal? Harry was on this island. I hope he's still there. Da, da. But where did they go? Yeah, they should. Okay. So there's a path that way. Yes, uh... No, eh? Hmm. This reminds me of those slot machines. Hmm. Just gonna make sure that I have the. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just not gonna go there yet. I'm just gonna go this way first. And have a look. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. A little bit more than I guess. Okay, that's... Okay, so... Mountainous landscape. 
what can I tell from here that gives me any indication of what I must look at? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Oh, one mount. So one, two, oh, that's four waves. Ah. Wow. That's, uh, wow, luckily I found that first one. Okay. Let's move through this. Do I? Am I able to? No, I can't go there. Okay. Uh. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Okay, and that is then three. Is that three with a sun? I need to figure this one out when I get there because Mountain Sun Seed has to do something with it. I thought it would be. Hmm. Interesting. It's like a fun little puzzle, man. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But uh, let me see here. That's not a bone hook, and then here. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. A fishing technique. Oh, so this has to do with fishing. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Good lord, just look at this. Just look at this. Look at this environment, man. So damn well, well done. That's probably birds. I can see flying things. Flowers, look at this. How beautiful is this, man? Oh boy. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Really? Oh, look at this. Holy shnikes. This is so good. Might turn up the music a little bit here because, uh, Audio. I'll turn it up a little bit here. Uh, only a slightly, only slightly. Just to have a little bit of a understanding of this. Okay, so what am I looking for here? Am I looking for the correct one that I can interact with, or? Is there something else? Wow. Well, there is only one that stands here. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this inn. Hmm. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Okay. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with Laura Keep. Oh! What a lovely souvenir. Okay, so I have all five then. Is that back to the original area? Ah! Ah! That is nice. So we don't have to go all the way back. We can just take this side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you go that way, and then, then you sh would go that way, basically, maybe. Okay. He wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Okay. Still don't know what the story entails here, but we'll figure that one out as soon as we cross. And that might make sense somehow. Okay, and now I have to figure this one out, right? Because how would. Hmm. Or is it just that order, basically? What is the log saying? 
Found the missing piece to open the door. It opened the entrance to a mangrove swamp in the inner island and cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. Okay. So, notes. So, it's... I'm just gonna make it like this, because that's how we found the symbols. I guess that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna put it in like that. So we have the spikes, the three little f arrows, um, the arrow point, yeah, like a, a port of a duck, the three hooks, and the speed boosts. Oh, sorry. So. Uh, that was this symbol. We have speed symbol there. That's not it. Where are the clues? Where are the clues? Oh, those are the clues. Okay. Oh, boo. Sun, bird, mountain, water, and fish. So I'm guessing the water was correct. The fish was the duck foot, so that goes below. Let me put it this way then. Duck foot. He had sun up top. Sun was three things there. This was the mountain. What else am I missing here? Speed boost? There we go. Nice! Nice! Right! Well, that was the bridge mechanic. We're gonna stand on the bridge and uh, overlook the water. A little bit, and uh, yeah, so far our adventure continues on the island 74 nautical miles away from Tahiti on the eastern side. Thank you for watching this first episode of Call of the Sea. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and um, even if this helped you, even if this helped you, I would like to, would like to see you next time. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.